Morning Miners, this is Pack Rat. Glad to see you guys again. I've been away for quite a while. Um, I had a lot of recording to do for Terraforma Crack and all that other stuff, and I had some other issues that basically delayed everything. And of course, now that I'm gone for a couple weeks, I come back and everything has changed. I mean, wow. There's a gigantic lava arena. There's Good's little project over here. Badge has got some giant thing going on over here. I've been very impressed by this. I don't know if he wants to reveal it. I'll just get a very long distance shot. He actually had cactus all around this before, so. Um, but that's huge. Um, I think that's what he's been building his timer for. <clears throat> and I've built not too much. Um, uh, the server was down for a little bit, and I was down for a little bit, and everything else was down, and I was not available, blah, blah, blah. So, as always, I was busy. But I haven't been doing nothing. Um, what I have done is I've been trying to work on getting this thing up and running. Uh, I decided I was going to get a chicken farm going inside at, at Gamers, and I thought that was a good idea. I, I mean, get, Gud was talking about it, but I was already thinking about doing it anyways. Um... And I got to show you a couple other things too. Uh, for, first of all, um, you saw this thing down there. It's popping out eggs pretty easily. Uh, that's pretty pretty cool. But that's not the actual cool part. Uh, this is obvious. Everybody's seen how to make it so the chickens hold still, and they hold still just fine. That's not the cool part. Um, that does currently get the eggs to fall down here though. Um, they come down here. They come down that chute. I'm probably gonna move that chute. I want to put that make it so that it drops on a certain point. And it just means I'm going to make, have to make a little tunnel to go there. I'm probably going to, uh, off topic, but I'm going to probably move this back a little bit too because nobody wants that many money in, that many, that many onions? Is that what I said? That many melons. That makes a lot more sense. But, okay, so that's, that's one thing. The second thing is, um, the actual place where you put the chickens in is over here. Now, the reason that I did this, and you'll find this this cool, um, this is designed to make it so that I, I never run out of actual chickens. Um, even if they go go ahead and uh, kill as many chickens as they want to get, as much chicken as they want, there's always going to be chickens here. How did he get down there? There's a chicken under there. Well, that's impressive. I guess when I threw it, an egg, it ended up spawning under there, which is strange. But anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me. Now that's all cool, but the reason that this works is because, uh, uh, you see these two pressure plates right here? Um, they make it so that this door, this fence gate here, here only opens if there is at least one chicken there and one chicken there. And thus, there's always going to be two chickens that I can go ahead and breed together to make more chickens. Um, so, because um, the only way that any chicken is going to leave is because um, there's some on both pressure plates. So only if there are three chickens does this door ever open, and then they will rarely go through. That being said, they will go through just fine. You can see right here, they seem to enjoy the water. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the grass over there. I, I thought they would spread over that one block, but it hasn't yet, so I'll just have to just move a grass block over there. That's just neither here nor there. Now, but that's not, you, that's still cool, but that's not everything. Um, now, obviously, we'd want roasted chicken. We wouldn't want just um, a chicken. So this actually cooks them. Uh, we have a dispenser set up with arrows in it that fires through a bit of lava, and that will shoot at the chickens. And when they kill, kills them, it pops out cooked chicken. The only thing is, um, I'm still working on this, but I, I do know that First of all, i got to figure out where this is down here, so I might as well just do this right now. Okay, so that's where that is. So let's just go ahead and move this down, because I was going to do that anyway. Um, but this right here... Ooh, that. Hmm, I don't want to set that up. Uh, let's just go ahead and make one of those a whole block so I can put a torch on it, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I just got a whole block, so that'll work just fine. And I'm gonna need. Is that gonna work? Oh, I need. I know. I know what. I, 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 I got these as top half slabs, so obviously that's not gonna work. Right. Okay. And actually, I, I already have whole blocks on me. I'm looking all over. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that like that. Put one here. 
Okay, good to go. We still need torches. I don't have any. Alright. Well, we're gonna put the lever for now right there. Just so I can see how well this thing works. Because I haven't tested this thing a ton. But I've tested it a little bit. There, now we got a torch. I already put a bunch of stuff back because I'm planning on going on a trip today. Now, that probably fired at once. Not very much. Okay, now, if you might listen. i got to put my headphones on. I don't even have them on right now. If you listen, it's actually going to be shooting them, but there's nothing coming out. The reason is, is um, evidently it takes two shots to kill a chicken with an arrow, which I was really surprised by. These things die by a drop of a hat. So I really thought that they'd be dying, like, really, really easy. But no, it takes two shots. And... Hmm, interesting. But, okay, that's great. There's probably a chicken up there now. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Well, before when I did that, it popped out cook, cooked chicken. Now it's deciding not to. That's awesome. So, that experiment was a bust. <laughs> That's great. Well, I'll, ha I'll have to play around with that, that thing and get it to work properly. But right now, this is just going to have to do. Um, what I'll probably have to do is I'll probably just have to make it so that the water is just a uh, stream in the, everywhere but in the middle. No, that won't work, because there's got to be a place for it to push the chicken around. Or, I mean, the cooked chicken. And so it's got to... Hmm. Well, that's going to take some thought. But at any rate, I, I have upgraded a bit. Unfortunately, it pops out raw chicken. Okay, that's great. <laughs> what are you going to do, right? Well, let's just go ahead and get, get rid of these eggs. Uh, but this is not what we're doing today. Obviously, I've already worked on this. It is not actually what I was planning on doing right now. What we're planning on doing is, um, see, I've actually had quite a few donations lately. Um, uh, I, you know what, actually, um, give me a minute, I'm going to go ahead and look these up real quick. Okay. Alright, I'm done looking them up. Um, basically, yeah, like I said, I've, I've had quite a few donations lately, and quite a few being three, but for me, that's quite a few, and... I, thank you a lot, guys. I, I guess a lot of you were enjoying the TFC stuff, and I don't blame you. That was some pretty entertaining footage. Now, here's the problem. Um, right now, pretty much all basic mob traps, um, well, not mob traps, any darkroom traps are pretty much borked. Um, I can't really load Cheryl. I especially can't load Cheryl three times. Um, uh, I have a grand total of about... Um, I would have to do about uh, two firings for ten bucks and one full load at thirty. So, yeah, th that's a lot. What did I do here? Why is this like that? Who was messing with Cheryl? This was not me. Someone was interesting. That's very strange. I, I've, I've been over here much more recently, and that's completely new to me. Mm. I don't think, maybe I did do that. I don't know. I don't recall that being there like that, but okay. Um, I haven't even put uh, the TNT down for... I don't think I have any in here either. Um, I don't think I, I haven't even put anything down in the shrine down there. I, 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 at the end of this episode, I'm going to go ahead and do, do that. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put the names in there. But right now, I don't even have enough to fill that. I probably got some TNT somewhere, but I'm probably going to have to end up going out and killing some creepers so I can just have enough TNT to, to fill the shrine. Um, at the moment, the rate of the, the darkroom traps is so slow that I can't even. Um, I can't even go overnight. It is actually much more um, economical to just go to a large flat area and start killing things with a looting three sword. And that's kind of sad. Uh, that's something that I cannot do. Um, I'm not going to uh, have a darkroom trap that is completely ineffective. That means that, unfortunately, my gigantic valley trap that has served me so well for so long is... Well, it's pretty much worthless. 
But that also means that we get to start a new project. See, if they're going to make dark, make it so the darkroom traps are completely ineffective, that means we're going to have to go with with something else. Man, I still can't believe he... I actually, um, if you saw his video, he put he put up a a, a good put up a a bed down here because he couldn't figure out where to sleep. Yeah, um, under the inn. And he, I said we're under the inn, and he comes up here and he looks at the sky. And I, I, I have a feeling he was trolling me. So, but either way, um, I made sure to give him an ad, an added sign to help him find his way to where the bed should be. Hopefully, he finds that, and I can get rid of that because I don't. I, I'd like to be able to add more chests down there at some point. But any, at any rate, um, so there's only, um, as you guys know, there's only really one way to get gunpowder in the game. That's creepers, or at least that's what you would think. You see, they just added a new way to get gunpowder. Where the heck am I going? Oh, actually, before I even show you that, um, I don't know if I showed you guys this, the guys this in a previous video. I, in fact, I'm pretty certain that I did not. But this thing um, actually does work for the new veggies. Um, I actually have some seed ones here, a potato and a carrot, and it actually does function. The only thing is, with the new mechanics of uh, the blocks um, and entities in them, uh, you can't like stand here and do it. You need to like stand way back here, as far back as you can go, and still click on it. And they still will shoot out over here. It's just ridiculous, but it still works. It's just it's not as effective. That being said, I already have plenty of baked potatoes, so I don't need to be doing that right now. I'm just gonna get rid of these guys. They're just in my inventory and annoying me. Um, and I, I, I'm getting distracted while I'm talking. Okay, we need to go get a boat. So. Like, like I said, there's actually more than one way to get gunpowder now. Um, you got to be kidding me. Now I got... Hopefully I remember to edit that. I, I've been having so... I've been having so much trouble with uh, editing for all my videos with... Um, with the SMP and working with all, so many other people. And the actual amount of editing I've been doing has not been sufficient. It's been kind of annoying me. Hopefully I'm able to work on that more later on. Um... Well, let me see. I just need to dump off some stuff here. I got too much stuff. Uh, we're gonna be going. We're gonna be going on a little trip. See, uh, like I said, there's there is more one, one way. They do have an, another mob. Now, this other mob, um, you probably know what it is. That it would be um, the witch. The witch happens to drop a lot of stuff. It, it drops glowstone, redstone, glass bottles. Um, spider eyes, um, health potions, and some other potions, and you know what else it drops? Gunpowder. That's right, it drops gunpowder. So we're gonna go ahead and load up a little bit here, and we're gonna go out and look for one. Um, I need one of those. Um, that I can probably, no, oh, that's good, be good for the anvil, actually. Um, that'll be helpful. That might be helpful. Sure, we're just gonna use up a lot of these, actually. Um, that does remind me, if I, if we're going to be going out there, I could probably use one of those to take with me. So we're going to go ahead and bring some obsidian. And I need one of you. And... So, at any rate, um, so what I did is I went on online. Do I have a, do I have a silk touch in there? I think I have a silk touch in there. That way I can move the stupid thing. I thought I put one in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I, I, what was I just saying? I went, I went, I went and uh, looked up. Uh, I went in single player and I made. I need to make a boat. What is wrong with me? Okay, I went in single player and I loaded up the seed for Minecraft and I made it so that I could. Um, we're gonna make two in case I get stuck. So that I could look around for witches, and I was, and it took me a while. It took me like two, three hours looking around. What I actually did is I didn't actually just go out into the middle of nowhere and try. I'm gonna turn this on because kind of kind of weird not having it on. Um, I didn't go out into the middle of nowhere and just try just search for endless hours and that and hours on end trying to find witches over in the the ten thousand ten thousand region. I didn't see if you ever look at the Minecraft map. Um, there's actually a lot of dead area in there. Uh, a lot of spots that nobody just, just, just nobody loaded. And 
I've always wondered. I, I I never really ever said anything to anybody because um, I didn't want them to think of it because I wanted it to wanted to save that for an uh, instance like this. See, everyone else is going on to. Ten thousand blocks away to go to get to new areas and new lands and all this stuff. And when, in actuality, if you look at the map, there's actually dead areas within a thousand blocks. So I used this opportunity to look at the map and I looked at, at the nearby dead areas and tried to find one that had nothing in it. And then I looked for one that had a swamp and I checked it against the map coordinates. And I'm pretty sure I found a swamp hut that's um about 3,000 blocks away or something like that um, let's see it's at, at 868 which means I'm going the wrong way of course it's at 868 and then negative 4348 so it's not it's it's some distance but it's not like a ton of distance away I thought I would had the right direction but I, I I'm, I'm so bad at directions it's ridiculous but you guys knew that so we need to go which way this way yeah, that's negative Z what the heck is that thing that's Shree's place? Yeah, I think that's Shree's place. Yeah, I can tell I haven't been over here at all. Okay, so is that it? And that's landlocked, so now we gotta go around it. What on earth is he doing? Was I think he didn't he have silk touch? Well, okay. Well, at any rate, I'm going to start heading that direction, and we're going to go ahead and see what we can find. I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Okay, and we are back. So that's actually, uh, for the record right now, back is actually tonight. Uh, I had to get to work and log off and all that stuff. Um, FYI, evidently loading all the new chunks lagged out everyone like crazy on the server. Had to apologize many times for that, but I did find it. It is exactly where I thought it would be, um, which I was actually quite happy about because it kind of made me nervous that it would be here. Um, but it was here. It was most definitely here. So, we do have a witch hut. I have not tested it to see if any witches actually are going to show up in it. It's kind of hard because they use the exact same mob cap system as all the rest of the other mobs. So, it's really hard to really tell if any witches are coming out of it. So, here is the... Pl Whoa, that's kind of cool. I was kind of uh, tunnel visioned when I came here. I didn't pay any attention to anything. So, and that's, that's pretty badass right there. Uh, pardon the bit of French right there. Um, but anyway, um, so here is the general plan. Um, now, as you guys probably have seen, uh, Doc M has actually made a pretty good witch hut, so it's not that unusual. Oh, we're going to go ahead and start play digging up some stuff and such like that. So he's actually got a good um, design for one. We're, oh, it's a little loud. We're pro probably going to be using something similar to that. I'm, of course, going to add my own little twist to it because that's kind of what I do with everything. But in order to make it efficient, the um, main thing that you need to do is you need to make it so that everything around it has, is spawning no mobs. So that's going to be a massive challenge because, obviously, there's a lot of places things can spawn around here. Um, duh. Um, so I've come up with a pretty interesting plan for how to how to take care of that problem and <laughs> it's different um, plan a uh, set up a mob trap system in the first place uh, I'm thinking about taking this making it a dual level design similar to the way the doc did it and I'm gonna set it up so that um, when things flow out the side of it um, they, they there's gonna be water streams along the edge that will pull everything off of the top and I'm thinking that is probably gonna be the best way because you can't really reduce the size of the spawning area. Uh, th there is one size and one size only. If you go any bigger or smaller, you, it's, <laughs> it does nothing. So I basically need to ut utilize anything that I can to just pull them off as soon as I possibly can do so. And best best way I know of doing that is to um, literally pull them off. See, what you can do is, I don't even think, I, yeah, I do have a bucket. I didn't have a bucket of water though. What I'm planning on doing, hopefully that refilled. 
Oh, wow, that's good amount of lag right there. Interesting. Am I frozen? No. Okay, good. I guess I was like that phantom water thing or something like that. Anyways, what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on putting... Well, let's say that... Okay, th I think this is the actual um, spawning length of, of the, um, the trap, right? This is... Yeah, that's a good example right there. Okay, so this right here is the actual limit that they can spawn. Um, let's just go ahead and do this proper like that. Um, might as well do it like that. So this is, they can spawn on top of this block. They cannot spawn on top of this block. So what I'm going to do, just do it like that. Get, try to make sure that he doesn't come after me. I'm going to have to go kill him in a minute so I can get some gunpowder. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along the entire edge of the platform and go like that. That way, the moment that they go, walk to the edge, the moment they walk to the edge, they're going to get pulled straight off. And then I can do whatever the heck I want to do with them. Now, I, this is 1.4.3 water. It's been corrected 1.4.4. We haven't um, upgraded that at the moment that, uh, that I'm on the server right now. So it won't be as effective as that water was pulling me, but it'll be pretty dang effective. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and that's going to be the first plan. The first plan is to set up a spawn, a spawn trap in the first place. I'm then going to take that and I'm going to send it into a grinder that's that's uh, powered by either by either lava or by drowning. I don't think I can do drowning because I think they're actually immune to that. So it's probably going to be a lava trap or a lava grinder. And then I'm going to take that and probably send it off into a portal where all the items can collect. That's the plan. That's just phase one. Phase two... Um, instead of trying to go around and clearing out all of the caves, which, yeah, that would be a smart thing to do, and I might clear out a lot of them. But the fa fact of the matter is, um, I'm not going to be able to clear out all of the caves all the time. Um, there, it's just not going to happen. What I actually want to do is I want to make it so... Oh, especially since this is a, 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 a swamp, um, there's nothing I can do to stop the, sp the slimes from spawning. Not that easily. The only thing I can really do is level this thing and put down a whole mess of half slabs or water. Water is probably going to be preferred and half water, well, it's going to be a combination of both. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up grooves all along the place. What, like, um, it, it's kind of annoying because it's dark right now, but uh, let's just get this thing out of the way and I can show you what I mean. It's going to be pretty much breaking them all up anyway, so. I don't even know if I got that one. Nope. I'd like it gone anyway, so come on down. All right, good enough. But again, saying that this is the spawner right here, um, I'm gonna like put grooves like every couple dozen, uh, like every t uh, what is it? Uh, if light, what I want to do is I want to set up grooves in the dirt all around it, like all the way to bedrock, going straight uh, straight down at various points. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because the, the light. From the sun, well, oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's a slime. Yeah, right there. You're gonna bug me. <sighs> Go away. Thank you. But the reason I'm gonna do... <laughs> Anyways, the reason, the reason I'm gonna do that is because the sunlight will be able to penetrate all the way down and uh, be able to light up any caves that that it comes across and that will make it so that during the daytime at least this will be pretty much in a hundred percent efficient trap the only thing that will happen is slimes will be able to spawn below the surface i can't really do a whole lot about that um there that's gonna be not preventable seeing as this is a slime biome um so i mean i don't know how deep this the slime biome actually spawns the slimes but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty deep that's just how this game works um so I'm not going to be able to correct that too much. But that that's basically what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to go through and I'm going to dig grooves all over the place. So that will probably make this a, a very efficient system, at least 50% of the time. Unfortunately, it's going to take an extremely long time. So uh, the good thing about that is that means that I'm going to be here all that time. And as the grinder gets more and more efficient... I'll be collecting more and more resources while trying to make it more and more efficient. Which is actually kind of cool. But at any rate, 
this is going to be a long project and I'm just getting started on it. So um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start working on this a little bit and then I'm going to head on over to Goodland again after I set up a portal of some kind and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at what the donators names and all that stuff so we can actually like uh, give, give them some form of um, honorary thing until I can actually blow up um, uh, Cheryl once again because right now I can't do that so we're just going to take take um, some t TNT that I can get, and we're going to go ahead and at least set up the shrine. So I'll be back with you guys later. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, it seems this took, this did take me a little while. It's been, it's like two days later. Um, that and I, I'm a busy guy, but. Uh, I did. I mean, the only reason I stayed here so long is didn't record is because I had to get obsidian, and I didn't want to get obsidian until I dug dug a trench down deep enough to get obsidian because I didn't want to waste my time doing that. So I did. Um, I dug it pretty deep. That goes all the way to bedrock. This right here is, of course, the grinder. Um, but this episode is getting a little bit long, so I'm not going to show you the entire thing. I'll just do a quick look around it. Uh, but you can see I already dug a trench all the way around it straight to bedrock and oddly enough I didn't run into a single cave that's just strange um, I did get some glass from a nearby shoreline that's where this came from um, the slimes are driving me crazy here but that's expected I the next thing I'm gonna be doing when I come back here is I'm gonna be clear cutting all this I'm gonna measure out 128 blocks in all directions from this sucker well actually not so much this as um, the spot below here, the um, it's like right around here or something like that. I only dug dug this. I, I took this little bitty's pond here and I dug it down four blocks, just so the slimes that end up in it will stop making noise. Yeah, but anyways, um, so I don't have time to really show you that right now. Um, the only thing reason I came back on is to show you that I have been busy and I did get a lot done, and this does function. Um, for those of you who are worried that um, since I didn't see a witch in there, um, yeah, there are witches. Where is that idiot? Did he actually fall through? There was one in there. Um, are you there? No. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit glitchy because uh, I, I set it up. So <laughs> yeah, you're an idiot. Um, I set it up so that the items will drop down through here. The thing is, is that um, um, I guess they're glitching through the water, but whatever. It, it works. You can see it right here. Um, see, another one just showed up while we were going. Uh, it's not very fast right now, but we, we knew that it wouldn't be. Uh, that's a given. Ah, Greg, I broke the torch. I want to hit him. Um, the only reason I didn't set up a lava trap uh, so far is, first of all, um, well, I, I did get to lava, but um, the main reason that I didn't do that is because I want to be able to set it up so that I can hit them with a looting sword right now. So until I get that all established, um, it's just going to be like this. I think I might set it up so that um, they stop, like, in that block, and then the items flow to that block. That might actually make a heck... You know what? I should probably do that. Not right now. Right now, um... What we're going to do is we're going to go collect those items that just dropped and put them away. But I actually haven't gone through here yet. Well, you know what I mean. I haven't gone to the other side of this yet. So I'd like to bring you guys along with me as I make the journey back for no particular reason whatsoever. Um, yeah, but that's going to have to be next episode. Because like I said, this one's getting a little bit long. I'm sure I'm at the 30 minute mark right now at least. Uh, also, uh, just so you guys know, uh, there are definitely quite a few caves under here that need to get lit up. I set this up on delay so that you got time to think about it before it just drops down. But yeah, there's quite a few caves. Now, it, you can't see because this thing's here right now. Underneath the actual um, trap itself, it's actually quite clear. Um, I, like I said, I didn't run into a single cave digging straight around it, but all the way around here, yeah, there is plenty, including over there is a mine shaft. Um, and I think uh, there's a ravine over there too, but I'm not certain. So yeah, got 
work cut out for us if we were going to try and light this up normally. We're probably not going to, so it doesn't really matter. But anyways, um, for this episode, you guys have a good one.